previous game, Warhawk, of course, multiplayer only, and has a really strong multiplayer community. Actually, interesting note, was the first game that I've worked on in my career that built up a community around it, which was a really neat experience, because we had some pretty rad fans. You know, Warhawk still has a very active fan base, and we can see, you know, how that's evolved over time, and, you know, what people really enjoy about that gameplay. And those have influenced the design decisions for Starhawk. You know, with Starhawk, we'll give you a, a place to enjoy it co-op. Uh, we'll give you a place to enjoy it by yourself. I expect a, a large percentage of those players are going to go online. And at this point, what we're doing is adding content, say, for certain solo missions, as well as uh, continuing to refine what we already have. There's a lot of playtesting going on on a number of different fronts. That's really essential to the process. And that's where we get, I think, some of our biggest benefits. On the multiplayer side, we try to pull as many members of the team together as possible and play the game. We'll do play tests uh, for fun. We call those hate sessions. So we'll have everybody get in the game, play it, everybody write down notes of what they hated, because those are the things we want to fix. The things we love, fine, we'll leave those. But the things we hate, we're going to see what everybody has in common about it, and we'll try to address those. Because we don't get caught up in the stuff that we like. We all have fun playing it. But I think a lot of games go wrong because they did not have enough critical eye on removing the stuff that sucked. We have a blast when we do multiplayer sessions. They're a lot of fun. You know, you got these guys on your butt and they're shooting you and then all of a sudden you lay down like a turret, you know, and just mow them down. I mean, there's nothing like that. Build walls, I'm gonna build some turrets, I'm gonna call some guys in and it's a ton of fun. You can do the same multiplayer level hundreds of times and it can be different every time. The kind of mayhem that you can really unleash in this game, it makes it a lot more interesting and a lot more chaotic and I like that. When all of the dust literally settles, there was a base here where there wasn't anything before, and that feels kind of neat. And so we're a third-person shooter, first and foremost. But we also give the player lots of different ways to participate in that action. Spanking. <laughs> here, they've made it feel really like a personal thing, you know? Like, my three years of, of work is is going to hit this crescendo when we can unveil it to everybody and everyone's already super excited about it so it's really cool you know i know that we've put a lot of energy and time in it and personally i feel attached to it and personal bias aside i feel objectively that we have a really good game and a great thing that i want other people to see and experience and feel the same excitement that i have we have a lot of uh, warhawk fans who come warheads and they have a lot of questions for us which we try to answer but our bar, no matter what they say, is actually higher than anybody's. And we are our own worst critic. And as we go forward, we're just going to be that much harder on ourselves. That experience from Warhawk is something that, that we learn from, and we're going to take it to the next solo with Starhawk.